session as well. This is the project meeting for uh, the project, which is actually a voltmeter, uh, which is going to be made by ICL7107IC uh, over here. And uh, as I have shared some details over here, the exact title of the project I have also shared with you that is actually a simple digital voltmeter circuit uh, using uh, ICL7107. Now the link I have given to you uh, is uh, very very elaborative and if you uh, let me just share my screen with you also. Uh, so whatever I do uh, is actually evident with you. Uh, the link I have shared with you, uh, I guess every one of you has opened that link as well and uh, that link has all the details that what we are actually building here today. Uh, the first link over here as you can go on, it's actually a digital voltmeter circuit diagram. This IC is quite old, it's uh, not a new IC, it's almost 30 years or 40 years back IC and it's very very common it's easily available at uh, the shop at Hall Roads or whatever so just giving you this IC means that you can actually make a simple AC voltmeter for your homes so when you build this PCB or whatever you can actually make this and you can install it at your home and you can easily have the voltage measurement over there it does not require any microcontroller it does not require any special something over there so you just have to use this IC and just maybe a couple of other ICs over there and then the whole circuit is running for you. Now if you see over here, uh, I'm not going to go through all of this uh, text over here, but I will straight away go on towards the uh, circuit diagram. But before that, this is actually the pin configuration of this IC. This is ICL7107 and I have also given you the link of the data sheet. So over here, uh, I have given you the link as a data sheet. I hope so everyone has this. This IC is produced by almost like almost all companies and the one which you are using are ICL7107, easily available at Hall Road. Um, and if you go on the second page of this data sheet, you have the pin configuration. Now what this IC does, it actually is an IC which has some dual roles. First thing, it has a A to D converter as well, which means it's going to convert any analog signal into a digital signal and then you are going to actually make it into, uh, represent it into according to some value. So according to your uh, home supply, if you are having an AC voltage at your home, definitely. So this means you are actually having something 220, 230 or maybe sometimes if there is a high voltage, it can even go to 250 or 260 volts over there. Now, when you have that voltage, then you know that is converted into some digital uh, value, maybe binary value. Now, you want to represent that uh, on some display. So, when you want to have some display, then the easy way around is this thing. Yeah, you have to use some LCD or 7-segment display. Now, to run a 7-segment, you know you need transistors and all that stuff over there. Now, that actually increases the size and the cost of the circuit a lot. So what this IC does over here, this IC if you see on pin number 2 to pin number 18 over here, they are like uh, D1, C1, B1, A1, F1. I hope everyone has this one, uh, the data sheet link over there. I have opened this one. So this is A1, F1, G1 and E1 and I hope you are familiar with this thing that what is this D, C, B, A, F, G, E, they are actually the 7 segments over here. So if you remember your uh, over here, this is actually my uh, working uh, over here. So if you remember the seven segment, the seven segment had something like this over here. This one was your A, B, this one was your D, E, F and G. So similar thing over here, you are going to have like three of these over here. And in this way, you are actually going to represent over here. So similarly, you are going to have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and similarly A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, the only point it is when you want to make a voltmeter over here, this is actually going to be the unit place over here. Just like if you have done in your uh, schooling time, this is going to be called as a tenth place, this is going to be called as the hundredth place over here. 
so this is actually going to be and then there is going to be a four segment also but it cannot display anything apart from only it is going to only have that b and c the rest of them are not going to be working you are not going to have them now this type of voltmeter uh, over here this is actually something going to be in thousands over here so this is going to be the thousands display now if you see the data sheet over there or the link i have provided you can actually display on this three and a half digit because this is actually just one can be displayed over here you can actually display a voltage of one and here the maximum decimal digit you can display nine nine and nine so this means you can actually display with the dp point since there will be a dot as well over here I'm not concerned this one so this is 199.9 but if you change this dot to somewhat here at this point so you have something like 1999 volts you can actually display this voltage over here and if your IC can capably run that and if it can measure that voltage that it could do it very easily over there so this IC is going to actually just make that seven segment display whatever that voltage the IC is going to display it on this uh, seven segment numbers over there so this seven segment ic over here or seven segment pins over here d1 c1 b1 a1 f1 g1 e1 they are actually uh, on the this they are actually on this units place over there and then the next ones over here which are we are talking about the d2 c2 b2 a2 f2 e2 they are actually at the uh, next one which is actually this tens place over there and then the so on over there so you have a lot of pins over here and certainly you have this 100 over here you have this d3 b3 f3 e3 c3 a3 g3 so 100 is also complete over there so you can have a seven segment over there so similarly uh, if you see the 1000 ones you only have over here for the 1000 one you have this a b4 over there and then uh, there is this is the g2 for the tens over there the g2 was missing over here so it's over here so there are the, all the pins over there and if you go back on your link which i have given you uh, this link over there you have all these pins over here and if you just scroll down a little over here you have the main circuit diagram which is actually which you are going to follow over here and that circuit diagram is this one this is the digital voltmeter using icl7107 and since i have opened this one in another page over here so you can see over here what we have done you have that b c combined together over here and then there is a g connected over there also for the negative sign this is very important the g is connected with pin number 20 for the negative sign so what you have to do the first thing you have to make a pcb in which you are going to take icl7107 the pin configuration is here this is a dip configuration as you can see there is written p dip over there so this means you are just going to take the p dip from the ltm software and you are going to use this one uh, for the four seven segments are going to be just like this and these are dp pointers these are very very important dp pointers i will just tell you how you are going to use them so this is dp 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 but you can name them as dp one two three four or whatever i will talk to you about on that later one now when you have done this uh, nomenclature there is no need of any transistors over here the common anode one because the ic is going to just display whatever you want to display over here and so you just have to put it with five volts over there so this whole PCB is going to be having a regulator that is actually 78M05 regulator and you are going to give 5 volts and ground to this one. Now this 5 volts and ground are also going to be given to this IC2. Now why this IC2 is required? Now I am not going to go into the total configuration of this how this IC works and how the dual slow because you are still first year students and you don't need to go in the details of this IC but a very simple way any IC who is which is actually um, a voltmeter or maybe an analog digital converter it requires negative voltage also so the negative voltage generation is being done by that IC2 so if you go through this link over here uh, the IC2 is actually used for minus 3.3 volt negative voltage generator for ICL7107 and over here you can see this is the same uh, 7107 IC and this is connected from the oscillator 3 this is simple capacitor this is simple resistor over there and then this is the same 5 volt coming into this IC so this circuit I am showing you at present and sharing the screen this is actually just the part of this circuit over here as you can see over here 
so this is the same thing taking power from this is pin number one taking the power and this is the same pin number one taking the power over here from here and this is the ground connection and this is the same capacitor and uh, the one and four one four eight and one and four one four eight and ten microfarad capacitor so you can generate minus three point three and you can give it at this b negative pin which is actually available over uh, sorry not on this type of sheet so actually this is going to be available at pin number twenty six over here so at this point and one thing very very important this capacitor is going to be upside down this is very important as you can see because this is a negative voltage so the positive side is towards the ground because this is a negative voltage pin number 35 and 21 they are directly connected with the ground nothing fancy about it c1 c2 and r2 they are just uh, the oscillator circuits over here which also not the oscillator actually they are just the buffer circuits over here which are completing the frequency over there and as far as this 31 30 and 32 pin are concerned now here is actually the important point over there now this input is actually this 31 30 and 32 they are actually the input which you actually want to measure it now here is actually one thing that is actually going to be changed over here so at pin number 30 31 and 32 you are here going to connect this circuitry or this second image i have shared over here with the group also and this circuitry if you can see over here this is actually a circuitry in which you are going to convert your ac signal into a dc signal this is very very important if you see over here closely so what is happening over here this is the input green uh, sorry the red color lead and the black color lead this is a small vdr uh, i will tell about this a little later on that what you have to do on this one then this is a small capacitor in series and then you have a 33 picofarad capacitor then a 30 30 picofarad capacitor a 3900 picofarad and then there are some resistances over here which are having 1.11k 10k 100k 1 mega and 10 ohm. now as we have seen a voltmeter i hope everyone has seen a voltmeter and on that voltmeter you actually have scale on it that you want to measure what type of voltage you want to measure something in millivolts you want to measure a 1.99 volt you want to measure 19.99 you want to measure 199.9 or you want to go towards something 1.99 kV or actually 1999 volts over there just like I told you that you can have 1999 volts measured over there now one thing over here since you are actually making the ac voltmeter you don't need this selector switch i'm not going to have to make you a voltmeter which you can actually vary many different voltages here this switch is fixed at this position that is at 1.99 kv this is very important the switch is fixed at 1.99 kv it can only measure the voltages which you are actually having at your home AC supply so all of these wires this 199.9 millivolt 1.99 19.99 or 199.9 they are not required you just have to take the wire from this end and here and afterwards this is the AC to DC converter because the signal at this point is still after a little bit of reduction because here this is a voltage divider when all of these wires are not there you have this 10 mega you have 1 mega you have 100k and then 10k and then this is the 1.11k so you are taking the voltage across this 1.11k and when this switch is at this uh, uh, 1.99 kilovolt this is the ac to dc converter over there now when this ac to dc converter where is it this ac to dc converter is shown over here as you can see over here this is the v input that is actually the ac to dc converter it's a small op amp I hope you are familiar with the op amps function over here this op amp is actually going to take this value of voltage into its rms value now what is an rms value that is actually the root mean square value because the value is in actually ac so what you have to do uh, uh, don't worry beta I'm, i have recorded this so don't worry uh, even if my voice is not clear i hope uh, uh, this will be in the recording this will be clear so don't worry i hope there is some internet connection or maybe since the weather is not good so maybe uh, there is some problem with your internet or something so this is the uh, op amp over here these are two resistances over there and then there is a small capacitor over there some diodes over there and some again some resistances over there this is a small variable resistor of 2.2k which i will tell you also which packaging you have to use and then over here you have this input high and then you have this one so you are taking at this pin over here sw1a or taking from this 1.99 kilovolt at this pin 
this is the common point over here at this point and this is going to be going into this common input LO RFL or ROL which is also on this same thing this is actually just the 35 in over here yes there is a polarized capacitor in this diagram you can see this is C7 over here a polarized capacitor and similarly they are also on the C6 which is actually 4.7 microfarad a polarized wherever there is a sign of plus this is a polarized capacitor this is very very important you are having a polarized capacitor over here and uh, they are using it because you have a negative spike also originating over here because when you are going to have uh, let me just give you a little idea that what you are going to do this is actually that AC voltage waveform we know already with this thing now this circuit waveform by using that diodes and all that stuff this is actually going to be converted into this form it's going to be actually rectified but in such a way that it does not have its peak changed over here so and then afterwards this is going to be fixed at some value that is actually root mean square value and if you remember it this peak value I don't know how many of you remember your FSC knowledge that if you have this peak value and you want to find out the RMS value the RMS value is equal to 0 0.707 into V peak over there so this circuitry what you are doing over here this is actually going to take that peak value from the two uh, the positive cycle and the negative cycle and it's going to give you that 0 0.707 into V peak over there so that value of voltage is going to be available at this two input high this is going to go inside this IC and here since you have put this SW1A or actually the switch is not being used you have put it at 1.99 kV so you are actually going to have the DP at DP1 and this is switch is going to be connected at this point and you are going to have the display whatever voltage is being measured that is actually going to be 1999 so the point is actually practically not usable why because this point is going to be on at this point where my actually is cursor at present this is at the unit point so this is going to be 1999 point something so you have the voltage as actually as whatever that voltage is actually being displayed the point is actually at the very end so what you have to do over here you have to just make first of all the uh, PCB design of this one you know what is ICL ICL is a 7107 IC it's actually a dip package it's a 40 pin dip package so very easily if you go in the LTM library you can easily find out this one in the dip packaging over there and I hope so you are familiar with the dual li uh, library over there uh, the dual library uh, let me just go through that dual library part uh, okay so this is the the dip uh, sorry let me have the dual okay so this is a dual line packaging and do, uh, dip 40 is available over here and then they have the the just verify this one that the row spacing is 15.24 from the data sheet otherwise because you have a 40 pin here you have a 40 pin here you have a 40 pin so there are different sizes of 40 pin just confirm it from a data sheet very simply one this is the data sheet in front of you scroll down to the end of the data sheet and there you can find out okay uh, let, let me just confirm it from here also you can find out okay this is e1 what is e1 e1 is approximately here uh, in millimeters this is equal to something 12.32 and 14.73 so something near about 13 point something has to be the so wherever that is value is something 13 point something you can find out that dip 40 whatever that value is so the row spacing is equal to 15.24 so you can verify it from this data sheet over there the row spacing over here is not going to be that E1 sorry about it that's actually the body over here the row spacing is actually going to be the E over here the value E over here which is actually 15.87 and 15.24 which have an average of 15.6 over there and you can see over here or 15.24 or 15.24 so you can use any of these over there just verify which package you are actually going to use it so this is just the dip package over here then the next thing that you have to actually use over here is actually the packaging of this IC2 now what this IC2 is there this IC2 is actually CD4049 now very simply you can actually go to the uh, uh, Google just find out CD4049 this is also going to be available in a dip package over here 
so tip package is going to be used over here again just verify this one and use the circuit diagram over here the other ones are just simple capacitors over here these are some polaroid capacitors these are some resistances over there and then these are seven segments which you have already used over there one thing very important uh, meanwhile mm -hmm. i will just have a look on this one you start working on this whole thing this zd1 over here i will give you the packaging in some like maybe by tomorrow morning or something i will give this packaging on the ms team for this ZD1 and uh, I will give you an idea on this op amp also because this op amp name is not given over here so I will just think through this one that what op amp has to be used over there meanwhile you can start your work over here for all these resistances and capacitances over there whatever is included you can connect the circuitry and try to make the PCB small just this op amp and that uh, one is not going to be there I will give you that VR1 this op amp and the other one which is actually ZD1 and this VR1 also over there this is just a wimple voltage divider which is actually going to set the high and low over here of the um, IC which means that what reference every time whenever you have an ADC working you require a reference over there and that reference is going to be taken up by this IC and it's going to display whatever that value of voltage is going to be there so you can have to make uh, dimensions I am not giving any circuitry dimensions over there uh, this can be as small as possible okay uh, or let me just give you a value over here maybe the size of one smartphone I hope so you can do that that's not that much okay the IC is just 40 pin dip and then we are like four seven segments over there so it should not be more than the size of some five inch smartphone five inch diagonally measured smartphone so it should not be more than that and it should be a two layer PCB so that you can actually concise it Okay, and it will be much better if on the front side only the seven segments are visible and then everything is on the back side then it can be very good yes you can have some capacitors or something on the front side no harm in that but then maybe we can have some encapsulation and you can then put this voltmeter at your home and then you can cherish for your, all your four years or three years to come on that you actually made this uh, voltmeter and it's still working there and it does not have any microcontroller or anything so easy way around you have all the things working in front of you do any questions apart from this yeah, I have given you all the links and all that stuff over here uh, uh, yes you can use female headers beta basically I'm not going to ask you to use the 20 pin IC base it's not 20 pin actually it's actually 40 pin uh, uh, dip package so yes you can use female headers also but uh, since you want to actually reduce the size of the whole circuitry and uh, it's totally up to you if you want to use female headers it's totally up to you yes you can use it but one thing very important uh, since you don't know what pin configuration you are using so I will advise you to use the dip 40 from the library okay and since I have told you that the maximum dimensions of the circuitry are something uh, just the size of a 5 inch uh, diagonally smartphone so it should be something like this okay rest uh, the circuits uh, uh, over here which are inside this uh, uh, some details which I have not given you up till now are ZD1 uh, and the yes the library yes the library of this uh, potentiometer VR1 ZD1 and then this uh, this op amp I have not given you the details of this one okay I will give you by maybe in one uh, day time okay because I have to search on this one because the website owner has actually not given them over here I will give share beta. I will share that pot library as well actually that library I have to search it on that if that variable uh, is available at Hall Road because you are going to make the circuitry physically also so I don't want you to use something maybe from the website which is not available physically in Lahore so it will be very difficult for you then okay so I will share that uh, the two three things which I have nominated over here this op amp certainly and then uh, uh, the uh, VR1 that is actually the variable over here and then certainly this ZD1 what is this ZD1 we will share that actually in the link they, they are shown uh, if you just, just go through the part needed over here this is actually ZD1 is actually a Zener diode as you can see over there through the links over there so I just have to confirm that what is the Zener diode uh, 0.5 watts something over there so 
try to use the R1, R2, R3, R4 and all those trimming potentiometers over here. I will give you that value over there. So all the capacitors and all that they are available over here. So just a simple circuitry, circuit diagram is there and it's a very well known circuit. Nothing fancy about it over here. Uh, what are bird sticks uh, from where you are actually can you elaborate on which uh, where you are actually finding it out please How many uh, students are there? Still like three students only. Roll number 72. Uh, eight second. Just let, let me just go. I guess there must be some bird sticks parts needed. Very uh, better. In the part section, there is a diode. There is a IC7017, CD4049. Bird sticks better. I can't find it out. I am having that page in front of me, but uh, where is that bird sticks which we are talking about? These are capacitors, these are multi-layer tantalum capacitors, polystyrene capacitors over here. Um, please identify beta where you are actually finding it out. And please, uh, if you have, uh, sir, it has been many comments in the link. Uh, let me just have a look on this one again. Uh, Bird sticks, but I can't actually find out any bird. Let me just, I don't know where you are. Maybe you have written the wrong spellings over there. Uh, bird sticks, I don't know. I don't know on EEW lab. Uh, can you give me the link, Peter? Can you give me the link, Sir Bilal has shared? Actually, Sir Bilal is not here. I don't know why uh, he, what link he has shared there. Because he, I don't know why he is not here today. So I have no idea. Maybe he has some, again, some internet issues because we share me the, share, share the link with me. So I can have a look on that one. Otherwise, I guess there is nothing fancy in the input components I have shown you over here. Okay. So it's a very simple project. Nothing fancy about it. And, uh, I'll just go through this link which you have given. I'll just go through this link. Do you have any questions, Bita? And meanwhile, uh, since just you three are here, and these three over here are uh, uh, just uh, like row number 72, 74, and uh, uh, Miss Ba is Hawk. I don't know where your row number, please. Can you tell me your row number on this file? So I can have an idea. I have to mark the attendance. So. 72, 74, and and meanwhile, uh, if you have a contact with row number 81, uh, thank you, beta 156, and meanwhile, uh, 81, 117, 125, 159, if you have a contact with them. Please kindly share these details. Uh, this recording is going to be over uh, on the YouTube channel also, maybe in an hour or so. Uh, the links are already in the conversation window, so maybe if they come even late afterwards, after that, you can share those links with them. Uh, so please uh, share with them because maybe in, uh, one thing very important, uh, I have given uh, you approximately uh, no, don't use any other diode instead of 1 and 4, 1, 4, 8. 1 and 4, 1, 4, 8 is uh, the, I guess, industry standard. So don't go beyond anything over there. Uh, I don't know why the link is not working. Uh, there must be some error. Don't use anything other than 1 and 4148 diode. And 1 and 4148 is actually a very good signal diode. I'm not asking, it, it's not a power diode. There are two types of diodes in the electronic industry. One is called as the power diode, other one is called as a signal. Power diodes are those diodes through which a very high amount of current can flow, more than like 100 or 200 milliampere. 
uh, a 1 and 4 1 4 8 is actually a signal diode by which you can actually have uh, a lot of signal through going through and you can just have like 0.7 or something over there okay, okay. I have just opened okay yeah, yes you can see actually uh, actually the link that was given uh, actually this was the last year link I actually now I get it okay 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 I'm just getting on uh, these are bird sticks over there over there uh, this is nothing this is the bird sticks over there you are actually at, they are actually combining this block connectors over there so that you can actually make this whole PCB stand on some plastic over there so it's nothing fancy okay there's nothing some technical over there this is just some uh, bird sticks so you can actually the thing is the same it's the very same thing nothing fancy about it you can see the size of this whole PCB and all that stuff over here otherwise you can see the circuit diagram I have given you a more elaborative circuit diagram this time this was the link actually the last year so sir uh, Bilal has actually shared this link over here I remember it yes. thank you uh, the orange component in this link beta uh, let me just see again the picture the orange components are particularly capacitors these are small capacitors this one is a varistor Okay, this one is a varistor, and uh, this this is a variable. Now, this is actually why I'm actually asking you that uh, this variable is a little difficult to find at Hall Road. So, I'm trying to tell you a different variable resistor so that, and this is the same IC which I just told you that CD4049. So, you can see this is actually the same thing over there. So, here uh, you have to just try to make this one into very small. Uh, you follow the latest one follow the new one which I have given you try to follow that circuit diagram okay this time uh, just try to have it a little different over there you can take a consultation from this link also it's very simple as well nothing fancy about it but uh, it's totally up to you because in this one uh, let just for example you are using LM triple five over here for negative voltage generation in that one you are using CD4049 so there's a slight difference over there just negative voltage generation it's a slight difference over there otherwise uh, nothing can be yes the, the diagram which I have shared with you just use that one okay mm -hmm. yes beta the orange components just below the this one yes this one one two these are capacitors this is one two three four these are capacitors this is also a capacitor this one is also uh, this can be uh this can be a capacitor actually but this is actually a volt uh, this is actually if you if I go on a circuit diagram uh this is actually this thing uh on this first diagram if you see this vdr this is a 450 volt vdr this is actually that thing over here so it can be a capacitor it can be that thing as well and uh, this one is a variable that potentiometer i'm talking about okay but i will change this one because it's very difficult to find this one on all road and then to actually get it for like 4k or 5k value it's very difficult so maybe we can use a trimmer a trimmer is something different i will share that uh, picture and the library of that one with you also it's in fact a little cheap as well as compared to this one because to move this one you require actually some screwdriver or something but for the other one it's very simple so i will share that one over there Mm, library of LED beta uh, I, uh, you don't need to actually have the uh, LED uh, but LED library is very simple let me just show you uh, place go to component the library for LED is available uh, this is available as uh, let me just give you I have this LED 5mm library if you want this I can just share with you at present in fact let me just share with you uh, I have made this library already with me and so I can share this uh, one over here. Actually, uh, this is the FG link. This is that FGM library. This is that. Actually, these are all the libraries which I normally use. Uh, let me just find out LED 5 mm. Okay, this is the LED 5 mm. I'm sharing this one over here with you people. So you can use this library as well. It's totally up to you. This is not an SMD uh, project because the IC is dipped, so it's a through hole something. But try to make it two layer and try to make it uh, uh, concise. 
and if you can make it even concise then this circuit diagram or this picture well and good it will be very good okay because this is a sing uh, this is also two layer but uh, it has not placed any components on the bottom layer so if you can do that maybe the size can be reduced somehow okay so i've shared this uh, library of led with you yes beta uh, you don't need to use lm555 this is very important you don't need to use lm555 over there please very thing important you are using uh, this circuit diagram over here you are using ic2 which is actually uh,